Obviously, this is a big month for all of the fighters from Europe. Um, everyone, Darren Till, you've got Molly McCann tonight. Can you just talk about what it was like to kind of get the ball rolling for all of your countrymen and everyone around from your part of the world? Yeah, it, it just feels it's amazing to, to just be back in there in general. Um, it's, it's like you said, it's a big couple of weeks for us as Welsh and as, and as Brits. And um, to, to be one of the guys, especially tonight, you know, to get in there get that win and, and, and kick us off on a positive start. It means the world. And I'm, I'm sure the other guys will come in behind me now and do the business as well. Now, you're two fights into your UFC career, but you have quite the resume behind you, a lot of wins. Is there somebody that you have your eye on for your next UFC appearance? No, no one specifically. Um, you know, the, the bantamweight division is full of killers. And I'm just, I'm just proud and happy to be a part of the best guys in the world. Um, even outside of the top 15, there's plenty of well-known names there now. Um, and I'm pretty sure after a performance like that, they, they're going to start taking notice of who I am. So, you know, maybe one more fight and I can start pushing for that to, to get that number by my name. But I'm, I'm, I'm an easygoing guy. You know, I'll fight whoever Sean Shelby tells me I'm fighting. And uh, I've always been the same. Don't turn down fights. And uh, I continue. I, sorry, I intend to do the same thing as, uh, as my career goes on. The final one for me, it was Fight Island. You had to go through the process, the quarantine, the heat, and everything else. What has been your biggest takeaway from the whole experience now that you got the win? It's, you know, it's been a, a great, great trip. We've been looked after very well. Um, it's been a tough fight week, probably the toughest of my career. Um, obviously, with the traveling, the being hotel bound, the, the time zones, the opponent changes. But it just it's just a testament to my, my mental strength. And, I, and I, I obviously proved to myself this week that I can come overcome any situation um, mentally. So it, it's been a great experience, a great learning experience, and um, you know, another memory that uh, that I'll cherish forever. Congrats again, Jack. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Jay Anderson. No, if anything, it felt it felt a little bit different. I just felt a lot. I mean, I was calm for the last fight, but I just I just felt that home in there. You know, the I, the no crowd didn't make a difference. If anything, I felt more comfortable with no crowd in there. Um, it just felt like a, a sparring session with no shin guards and no head guard. Um, really enjoyed the experience. Enjoyed the the atmosphere of, of you in every shot. You're in the breathing. You're in the commentary. So it was definitely one uh, one that I'll take with me. Obviously, it's it's an honour to, to for people to be saying that about me at the 25 years of age. I'm only two fights into my UFC career, so to have some really highly respected guys saying that it means the world. Um, there's plenty of talent in Wales, though. You know, Brett Johns fighting Saturday, John Phillips, Jack Marshman, and plenty of good young guys coming through. So, um, you know, I may people may think that about me now, and, and you know, there's probably people who, who think the same about Brett and the other guys too. But there's there's plenty of Plenty more that I came from in Wales, you know, we're just tapping into our talent pool and if you give us five years, the Welsh will be taking over the UFC, I guarantee you that. Thank you. Can I go ahead, yeah? Yes, go ahead, Niall. Thank you. Jack, uh, can you hear me now? I, I can't really hear you, but uh, did Michael Bisping and Paul Feller compare to you to... Um, GSP on the broadcast. Just, just get your thoughts on that. What was your, your thoughts of that compliment? Yeah, so it's an honour um, to have someone like Bispin and and Paul Fell, you know, two, two legends of the game. This half compare me to the greatest of all time. Um, after two fights in uh, in my career, it's a little bit overwhelming. I don't really know what to what to make of it, but it's a compliment I'll definitely take. I, having grown up a GSP super fan and um, someone who've always always sung his praises, then it's obviously a massive compliment. Have your dad and yourself sort of based your, you know, his style on, on your game and your tactics and, and what you've done in your career so far? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. I mean, growing up as a kid, when, when I when I first started fighting, I always wanted to be like GSP in the sense of I didn't want to be weak in any area. You know, when you look at, at GSP's fights against the top guys in the world, if they were a good grappler or a good wrestler, he would he would out, out out point them on the feet. If they were a good strike guy, he would take them down and dominate them on the floor. And that's something I've always wanted to have in my arsenal and be able to do. Um, 
I, I, my old my old man's a massive GSP fan as well, and he's always been <laughs> keen on on pushing me to you know have that sort of similar style wrestle heavy, but you know we we always want to have them credentials on the feet as well, and 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 he's obviously installed that in me with great striking coaches. So if I can achieve half of what GSP's achieved in the sport, then I'll go away and happy man for it that way. And you said you were disappointed with the first round. You know, it, it was a pretty dominant round. You know, I had it at 10-8. Like, why were you disappointed? I'm a bit puzzled you were disappointed because it was very impressive. Uh, to, I'm, to be honest, I, I don't know if disappointed was the right word. I, I probably wrote it wrong. Um, probably probably more so just felt a little bit sloppy in, in the opening exchange. Um, just didn't find my range straight away. But I'm, I'm overly critical, critical of myself. Um, looking back, I probably wish I never said it. But, um, you know, I, I'm confident I won the first round. But I just... Felt a little bit sloppy on the feet to start, that's all. And just one last one for you. Peter Yan had some comments for you last week about you uh, dodging his, his corner man, trying to avoid his corner man. Uh, any comments to, towards Peter Yan and his guys after that performance? No, nah, no comments to Peter. You know, he looked great on the weekend. Congrats to him on that. And uh, if his corner man gets signed, then I'll be all more than happy to, uh, to step in and tear it up with him as well. <laughs> 